Hi everyone, it's Melina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to let you know about the research I made and to tell you about some really unfair scenes. So, recently, a few days ago, I decided to buy a lip liner and I bought it. Here it is. The brand of this lip liner is Vivian Sabot and I was convinced that it is French brand yeah I was for a while so after using it for a few days I decided to make a review I was like why not to share it with people some information and I also made a research because I wanted some details on it so I googled obviously the brand and guess what all the information all the reviews was in Russian which was very bizarre it was very strange, you know. So official site is all in Russian. By the way, I think the site looks very nice. The story behind the brand seemed to be a bit like in fairy tale, but very beautifully made. Also, they have variety of products, which I think is good. The products are budget and affordable. But on Russian side, it was said that products are French, the, the brand is French and there were no sites in French language which was very bizarre for me so I typed Vivian Sabot FR and it took me to the site Vivian Sabot in English but there were not many products, maybe like a few mascaras I'm gonna insert by the way some of screenshots I made so you understand that I'm not just making it up or anything. I thought it was bizarre and definitely they made the site only for people who are gonna make research. So it will take them to some site in English. So it will look like there is something like that. So I must add that I found site of this brand in German, which is interesting. And maybe they even make some sales there in Germany, who knows, or elsewhere. Yeah, so I started digging more information about this brand because I already felt a bit of like, I felt hurt, I guess. I felt like I have been lied to. I also thought that it was very bizarre, why not to say truth? I mean, it's not like something really crazy. I mean, there are different brands in Russia, I'm convinced, some expensive brands, some nice brands perhaps that are popular there and maybe even overseas, I'm sure of that, so I was a bit shocked, I was like, yeah, it should be a Russian si site that says that products are made in France and they're just lying apparently, that's what I thought already at that point, and I find some sites some blogs of people like you know blogs of people who are making reviews so i found those i keep finding them to be fair so it's not like there is just one of them who was saying some truth about this brand there are more of them and i also made screenshots and they're gonna be like a name perhaps of the blog so you can see and you can read it yourself by the way, I hope it's not bad that I'm naming those blogs. I guess they are there to be read, so I guess it's rather even a good thing. I'm happy that there are so many people who made the research. They are not just believing what the brand is saying or trying to, you know, to make it look like. So there is this blog called Eternal Summer Life. And this person was saying about the brand, the story behind the brand is actually quite interesting. It is a collaboration between a Russian marketing group called Gradient and a makeup factory in Switzerland. Well, I think only Gradient part is really like for sure. I'm not sure about Switzerland to be fair, but who knows, maybe still, I'm not sure why to say it is French. Why? What is the point? Are those products that bad that they need to be called French to make them sell or are they just or maybe this brand thinks that they won't be sold as much if they were like Russian 
I mean, yeah, I think they should be proud of what they are doing because the products look very nice. I gotta say their budget, the site looks nice and packages look very nice. Why not to say we are making affordable products in Russia, we are producing something and it is Russian. Why not to be proud of that? I'm not understanding it to be fair yet. There is another blog called Ballet Proof Maria and I actually like this blog a lot. I think it is very interesting, something to read. By the way, maybe you will be curious, you can read it, I think. I think it would be something you might find very interesting. So this person was saying, why I heard about this brand for the first time, I didn't get its origin, but understood that it might be strange that a French brand is so popular in Russia, but not in its home country. The label on the lipstick was saying that the product was made in Russia, but the official website, only in Russian, I must say, was saying that Vivian Sabo is a French brand. So, how is that now? It is totally a lie, I guess, that it is made in France, you know? I mean, there are plenty of different brands which produce their products in different elsewhere, not in the country that is like the company brand like origin so meaning there are lots of different brands which produce their products elsewhere but still it is definitely not french as you can probably tell already from this research also this person was saying after doing some research i finally found what is the deal with this brand there is a russian company gradient which is an official importer of some international and local brands across Russia. And it said that this company, Gradient, launched, launched its own brand, Vivian Sabo. Oh well, it is very nice and I think it is very nice of them that they are trying to make new scenes. I think it is rather a good scene. I think it's nice when different countries, they have lots of people who try to make new brands. I think it is something new and something to be rather happy about. So, if I'm honest, being Ukrainian, I probably would decide, would take this decision not to buy products from brands that are from Russia due to the story and current situation in the Ukraine right now. I mean, I can't do that. I don't think it is morally right, but I can't support, you know, brands which are made in Russia because I should, you know, take some, be responsible for things like that. But still, I don't think it's bad that they are trying to make new brands. I think it's rather good. But I have this scene, so, which is very, really like bothering me. So there are many shops of Vivian Sabo brand in Russia itself and Russian people, they buy those products and they think, some of them at least, think that, well, more, more than just some of them, because their site says that those products are French. Can you imagine the site in Russian? So Russian people buying those products, they think that it's French. What about them? What about those people? Is it right? Okay, let's forget about me. Let's forget about well, I guess some other people which are buying those products just to make review, perhaps to be, you know, maybe entertaining in some way. I mean, let's be honest. What about people who believe that they are buying those products, they are believing that they are buying quality products from France? And I'm sure that Russia, well, Russian brands, not Russia, they can make very good products. I'm sure. I mean, Obviously, it's possible. Why not? Why not to say? We made this brand. It is made in Russia. It is budget. You can afford it. The quality is fine. The design is beautiful, by the way. I actually thought the design looks, well, interesting, cute. Maybe not great, but not bad. The site looks nice, too, you know. Why not to say the truth? What is the problem? Why to hide behind some French name? you know, and so on. What is the problem with that? Why not to be proud of something you are making? The reasons that can be of such actions 
could be only the bad quality or rather them being convinced that their products won't be sold as good you know under some Russian name could it be I guess it could be but I think it is very sad and I'm sure they should just look how other Russian brands are making you know their business and maybe perhaps take those as examples because I'm sure some of them are proud to be Russian brands I mean you know let's be honest so this person also from this ballet proof Maria so th that person wrote also here my name my new sorry my new brand to test out today's Vivian Sabo Paris well my name <laughs> uh, yeah well at first it might look like a French brand and maybe some of you will ask yourself I've been to France before and never seen this brand and she says oh well maybe it's not she well I guess I would assume it is uh, palette proof Maria well I don't know whatever it's not about that well maybe because it's not a French brand but Russian they said it's interesting well, I'm not sure what else to say. I already said too much, I guess. I'm curious what you think. Maybe you don't think it's a big deal, which I don't think it's like the huge big like lie to the world. But still, I think it is very unfair, dishonest, morally not right thing to do. And yeah, I'm curious what you think. Maybe you don't care or well, whatever. I'm curious though, I'm curious what you think, yeah, it's not whatever, it's actually I want to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video some ups, I'll see you soon and I hope I won't have to make videos like that again. See ya!